guys, welcome to part 4. Now, I'm not really pleased with the uh, color uh, of the paint that we have over here. So, uh, let's get uh, back into Photoshop and see if we can actually get that. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, let's uh, choose another blue. Okay, yeah, that's more like it. Now let's take the badge again and put it somewhere around here. It's nasty because I can't really see, but yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's scale it a bit. Okay, bring it up a bit somewhere around here, I think. Okay, enter. Actually, let's just <coughs> leave it like this. And yeah, let's save it into textures. As a Targa Tank Paint 2. Because why not? Okay. Let's get back in here and uh, reload the texture. And see what we get. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. So first, let's uh, make a UV map for this uh, bed over here. Okay, so let's go to create UVs, planar mapping, and create one from the x-axis. There we go, that should be alright. Okay, um, yeah, let's resize this a bit and get it a bit centered. Alright, yeah, okay, and let's make a uh, Quick uh, UV snapshot. Um, psh, nah. Okay, fine. 1K by 1K. It's a bit too big for uh, the size of this, but nah, it's okay. Okay, headlight <coughs> UV. Oh, let's see if there's a Targa. Okay, there we go. Now let's get back into Photoshop. Open it up. Let's go into images. Headlight UVs. Okay. Um, let's open. Uh, Okay, let's go for uh, let's go for this one, or let's just open the both of them and uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna also gonna upload uh, the uh, textures as well, so that you guys can actually use the exact same thing that I'm using. So uh, there's no problem there. Um, yeah, let's just go crazy with this and make something real quick. Shift, uh, go to shift A, go to shift V. Okay, I think we're gonna need something uh, a little bit more resolution, so let's check this one. Now, I know it's not perfect, but it'll have to do for the moment at least. Okay, let's just resize this a bit, scale it, okay, any further uh, editing we can do uh, in the inside Maya with the UVs, okay, let's, uh, let's check this out, let's save it in the textures, headlights, okay, save it as a targa, Bit. Okay, let's have a look see of what we came up with. Let's first make a shader. We shall make a blend. Alright. 
which we will call headlights. Excuse me. All right. Uh, let's load our texture. File. Resize this a bit. Okay. And we have headlights. <laughs> let's reconnect it. Color and let's have a look. shabby but we actually need to edit the UVs a bit. Let's just grab this and move it about a bit. Resize it. Okay, let's have a look. It's a bit busy but <laughs> I'm not the big fan of it but it'll have to do. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll change it later if we if we actually have to. Okay, I believe uh, this is pretty much with the t with uh, the texturing, except with the uh, this part. Except let's actually yeah, let's make these uh, chromed. Okay, and uh, after this we can. Uh, Make a few renders and see how this whole setup looks. Okay, Chrome, yeah, there we go. That should be okay. Alrighty. Now, before we go into the actual rendering, let's create a light. So let's go over here into the rendering tab. Click on this little spotlight, and uh, this uh, little object will be will be created. Now let's go over here into the panels and click on look through selected camera. All right. Now we're gonna have a look exactly in uh, with the spotlight, so to speak. Let's just click on this attribute editor. Okay, come on. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> now uh, over here we can uh, select uh, our color if you want to edit it out. Uh, the intensity of the light. We're just gonna keep it to one. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's actually press seven so that we actually uh, see what we have over here. Okay, did I press seven? No, I did not. There we go. Okay. Right. So let's take this back to one. Okay. Uh, over here at the cone angle, we can actually set the uh, size. So to speak of the of our spotlight, and with the penumbra angle, we can actually uh, decrease the intensity in which the light uh, hits a surface on the edge over here to go softly. All right, not to just stop and that's it. It's a it's a it's a nice feature. Okay, so let's just set it up somewhere around here. Okay. Now let's go into the shadows over here. Now uh, when you cast shadows, remember to never uh, let the shadow color completely black. Because in reality, shadows are not completely black. All right? So let's just uh, bring this up a bit, just a bit, like 30% or something like that. Okay, and let's go over here to use ray tracing shadows. Alright, um, and we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, since we have our uh, light set up, let's just go into our uh, perspective over here, close this up, and uh, let's uh, take a look at our uh, render settings. Now, as, as, as I uh, said before, I'm not uh, really good with mental ray, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna try to explain it as much as I can. So, uh, yeah, if uh, you have problems understanding something uh, regarding mental ray, you can uh, ask if you want, drop a comment or something like that, or you can just Google it and uh, learn it by yourself. It's not that hard. So, uh, yeah, anyway, <coughs> let's uh, take a look over here. Now, uh, in the comments tab, you will find uh, stuff like uh, image format, 
if you're uh, making an animation for example you want to, to use a JPEG or something like that all right over here or all the way a little ways down you can actually uh, select the uh, cameras with which you want to render uh, the image out say if we want if uh, we had another camera you could have uh, chose between it or uh, the perspective view all right and over here you can uh, actually choose between different resolutions okay now over here in the features come on load load please thank you okay now over here uh, you basically can uh, change between uh, what to render like uh, final gatherings or uh, only the shadow maps or uh, the light maps or stuff like that um, you can also uh, check uh, global illuminations uh, caustics, final gatherings for your photons and whatnot, ambient occlusion and uh, pretty much all the uh, settings you're gonna do are uh, from here you can just simply go over here to quality presets click on this uh, little drop down menu over here and uh, just select uh, whichever one you want I, uh, I'd go for something like production or production motion blur uh, leave uh, these settings over here as they uh, already are go all the way uh, over to features over here and just click on global illumination and uh, final gathering and that's about it all right over here in your uh, indirect illumination in your environment in the image based lighting uh, button over here you can actually create a background image like a sky or something all right Let's, uh, let's take a look, you just simply click on create over here and uh, this uh, little uh, thing will pop up over here now under image name just click this folder over here and uh, let's uh, select the sky All right. <laughs> excuse me double click it and there you go alright for stuff like this you can uh, go back and just click on delete and uh, go away okay now uh, <coughs> this is uh, pretty much all the, the things I remember uh, within mental ray but uh, again if you have uh, problems uh, you can uh, search for other tutorials regarding mental ray there are a bunch on the internet uh, or you can just uh, simply just play around uh, over here and uh, eventually you'll, you'll uh, get something uh, with, uh, which you're comfortable with or you can uh, just pick up V-Ray you can uh, also grab a demo from uh, their site I think I'll uh, add a little link in the description over there and uh, yeah this is pretty much it so let's go and uh, take a look at uh, V-Ray so let's just click on render using over here and click on V-Ray okay here we go now just as uh, with uh, mentory you have uh, in the V-Ray comments tab you will find uh, things like image formats alright <coughs> And uh, over here in the animation, if you uh, click this one, uh, this uh, thing over here, you can actually uh, set the start and the end frame of your animations by uh, taking a look at this uh, time slider over here. Say if your uh, animation would uh, have like a thousand frames, you'd start with the first one and end it with the uh, thousand one. Okay. Uh, okay over here in the uh, batch render camera you can uh, choose from uh, different cameras just as with uh, mental ray and uh, over here you can choose different uh, resolution presets or just uh, put one uh, that you'd uh, like okay uh, since we're uh, nearing our uh, the end of our fourth part over here I'll uh, catch you guys in part 5